टू so there is a manuscript i think uh, this came in that particular thing there was a correction no okay i just brought once again okay there is a wall yeah this is the thing uh let the meniscus there is a meniscus that everything is liquid fine okay now now read the question is asking that find the pressure calculate the difference in ith between the bottom and the top of the meniscus so what is the where is the meniscus you are seeing this particular blue color line is the meniscus this is the meniscus there's a wall so it's asking first find the pressure in the liquid at the topmost point here 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 let me call one uh, and let, let me take this as two in inside the liquid uh, it should be pressure at one so what is the pressure at two should be p not no because this is air it is inside the liquid so we we are very sure what is the pressure pressure at two should be p not because the meniscus is flat here let me bring point pressure at 3 equal to p not and as the meniscus is flat as it is flat here no <coughs> so therefore p3 equal to p2 then let me write manometric equation p1 plus rho gh minus p2 equal to 0 pressure at 1 is needed so pressure at 1 is in fact how much at a pressure at 1 or it will be less than p not so p not minus rho gh calculate the difference in h is asking that h how to bring that h now let me take that meniscus itself so i think i can bring meniscus what happened what struck no i think screen four let me delete it wait question gone question not visible yeah huh? i'll i'll get the question
Hmm. Okay, I think I think we we very here, huh? Uh, next part of the problem. Let me see it. I want only this. No use. Okay, lucky. Yeah, we got it. Hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, th there's a meniscus I brought. Let, let's see what are all forces that are acting. Only, only meniscus. You look at that. Only, only meniscus. In fact, it's aquarium. No. How the aquarium wall, wall width of the wall is B. And let me show the question itself. Uh, read the question. So here, let, let me just adjust the thing. Go this as so this this shape of actually aquarium. The meniscus will be in fact like this. Huh? And I'm so th there's a liquid. Fine. So try to look at the meniscus now. So this will be the meniscus. If I draw the diagram of meniscus now, will be of this kind. What are the? <coughs> so shall I just leave it? Okay. Your force due to surface tension will act here. Angle of contact zero. It, it will completely wet no. So it's not needed. So uh, along. You know, these things. So then, uh, the angle of contact zero. So for here, the force due to surface if it is there, it will act vertically up. Then the wall will exert a force, and the, and the atmosphere. And the action of all and this is a force due to surface. And the action of all this force, it's in equilibrium, no? This everything is meniscus now. We, we must think there's no other way. You have to look at only meniscus here. Okay, let's get into uh, equating forces. Force due to wall plus force due to surface tension should balance force due to a force due to wall. What is the pressure at this point? P naught minus rho gh. What is the pressure at this point? Pressure at two. Average pressure into what is the area of cross section of wall? H into L. Okay. What is L? You can uh, okay. I'll bring this is L. So what is H? And this is H. Able to understand, so that that would be a wall, no effective area. This will be h into l, average pressure h into l, then force due to surface tension. Anybody, what shall I get? Force due to surface t into l. A force due to a p not a. We don't know average pressure. What is the pressure? Average pressure p one plus p two by two. L get cancelled, so h surface tension p not h. Solving this, what is pressure at one? P not minus rho g h. P not. So this will be uh, P naught minus rho G H by two into H plus T equal to P naught H. Further, one P naught H <coughs> will get eliminated. 
rho g h square by 2 plus t equal to p naught h rho h is equal to 2 t by rho g uh, th this is very important you have to go for average pressure i think this is what we did in fluid statics Diagram is very important unless students will not think this diagram not possible. The meniscus here will be flat. It will be curved here, so it will be flat here. So here is what you have to look at this one. Yeah, one more problem will take it. We have time. No? Both are <coughs> you, you try this, I'll give answer options also given. You can try them. Let, let me discuss some small idea. Uh, if there are two bubbles, if they are falling in air, uh, 